Hi everyone, today I want to share this cute little pineapple box. And it was one of the projects that we were going to do at a STAM camp, which has, you know, we had to cancel the STAM camp as we're all um, social distancing right now. And um, we always made four cards and one little treat holder type thing, and this was going to be my treat holder. We were going to use Timeless Tropical on some cards and then also make this little treat holder. So um, I had this gum that's pineapple twist from Trident and I bought it at Target. And um, so this is a cute little box to just put it in if you're having like a, maybe a pool party or a summer themed party, a little luau party, something like that. And it's really fun little box. And it uses the Timeless Tropical dies. Doesn't actually use any stamping on this one, but I wanted to show you the stamps anyway because if you purchase them right now, just a few more days, it's a bundle. You can get the dies and the stamps together at a bundled price because they're in the um, spring mini catalog, which expires on June 3rd. And then a new catalog comes out. Well, I should say second because then the new catalog comes out June 3rd. And these products will still be in that new catalog, but they're not at a bundled price. So you lose the 10% discount when buying a bundle. So you can still get these dies and you can still get these stamps. And they're really pretty. The stamps are gorgeous. I like the little pineapple. Palm trees, nice hibiscus is what I think this is. So it's a great stamp set. It's got a birthday and a hello and a thank you. Everything you need. I like that. And the dies are what really sold me on it, really. I like these little flowers. And I loved this big pineapple. So right away when I saw it, I thought, okay, I need to make the pineapple on something. And I was looking at pineapple candies. And you can get dried pineapple rings. And so you can make, maybe you don't want a box. You could do something like this on a tag. Or um, I've, I saw uh, pineapple lifesavers. And then I saw these Trident gums. And I thought these are kind of fun and easy to transport. And, um, you know, so I could bring this to class easily. And not everybody eats chocolate. Some people do, some people don't. So anyway, I thought this was a fun little pineapple themed gift and what we're using is this pineapple die here and it has these cute little bumps and then we're using the little top of the pineapple and I like that they're separate so you can do two different colors and we're also using this little aloha see that and I've already cut them all out for you because I wanted my video to be a little bit shorter <laughs> Okay, so this piece here is for the box base and it is two and a quarter across by five inches. And then you're going to score it at two and a quarter and then two and three quarters. So that way you've got this half inch scored area right here in the middle. And that's going to be the bottom of your box. Okay, the next pieces you need are the sides. And this one is an inch and a half across by an inch and three quarters. And then I scored it at half an inch and then at one inch. And that way I've got that little half inch score in the center just like on that. And you need two of these, one for each side. So to put the box together, I like to use my tear tape because it is really strong. And I know that the box is not going to fall apart when I put the treats in it. So I'm going to put that right up on that score line. And then you're just going to tuck it in this area here. You're just going to kind of turn this into a sleeve for the gum. Now you can change the size of your box. This one is um, the size that it is because I had to fit the gum. <laughs> so that's why it's two and a quarter across. So if you have something smaller, you know, maybe you've got Lifesaver roll or something. Do they still make them in rolls? Last time I saw them, they were just in a loose bag of individually wrapped lifesavers. But you can do something like this in a cello bag, or you can put a cello bag inside of a box, all different ways that you can do it. Just depends on what kind of pineapple treats you find. It doesn't even have to be pineapple. You could do a bag of tropical um, jelly bellies. I was looking for those actually. And um, if class hadn't got canceled, I might have kept looking for that because I thought that would be really fun. And who doesn't love jelly bellies? Okay, so there's my little pouch. It's like a little sleeve, and that's it, nothing fancy. You can add a handle, whatever you like on there, um, but I thought I would just keep it simple. If you're doing this for a party, you don't wanna have too many pieces. You wanna be able to make it really quick and simple. Now here's my pineapple, and as you can see, you can see through the pineapple, and I 
like that for some things, but I didn't really like it on my box. So I could have made the whole box yellow, but then it gets lost. So instead, I took the die and I just traced it onto a piece of um, cardstock. I should tell you that this cardstock is Pineapple Punch and it is also discontinuing because it's it's run, it's one of the in colors. It only sticks around for a couple years just for fun and it's like a little punch of color every couple years. We get, um, every year we get five new colors and this one is on its way out. Sad to see colors go. And so if you like Pineapple Punch, you might want to grab that right now too and the ink pad and that kind of thing. Now if you're seeing this video and it's already gone, um, you know, you could choose Daffodil Delight might be a great yellow for this or even Crushed Curry. We're getting a new yellow, which I'm excited about. It's called Bumblebee and it's a little bit like Crushed Curry, but a little more, I'm saying that they're a little bit more muted or heathered and um, I like them. They're kind of pretty together. They're really fall. I really like them, the new color. So you'll have to check those out. Anyway, so I cut out two of these because I put one on the front and one on the back. And I'm just going to glue them right on my pineapple. But first I wanted to make it more like a real pineapple. See how it's kind of got yellows, but it also has a lot of browns. So I took soft suede and a sponge and I just kind of sponged over. And you can get this as brown as you like because you're going to have that yellow peeking through. So even though it looks like maybe I went heavy on the brown, it's going to still be nice and bright as soon as I attach it to this base here. And I have two of these already cut and ready to go. There we go. And to glue the two pieces together, I just added a little bit of this liquid adhesive along the edges. And then every once in a while, I put one on the pineapple spikes. Now here's a good opportunity. You could take a look at it, and if your yellow was a little, your bottom layer is a little larger than your top. You can kind of go in and clean it up a little bit. And those just get added to your box. I was looking at pineapple and the little spiky stick up but um, I think that they do. They all kind of stick up. And I was looking at the wrapper. Yes, they do. So I was trying to think, what is the upside of the pineapple? I think I've got it going the correct way. Okay, then I punched out or I die cut out some of these. Now look at how this die is. It's got these cute little leaves. So you want to really show off how they come out. So I just kind of curled them a little bit. You can use a bone folder. I'm using my fingernail. So you're just going to attach that to the top. And I didn't give myself too much space to attach it <laughs> and that's okay. I'm going to put this block here to kind of help it stay for just a minute. It only takes a second for that glue to get tacky. And while I'm doing that, let's make this tag. Now the Aloha also comes in the Timeless Tropical Dyes. And I cut it out in basic black, and I want to stick it down on some Whisper White. And this tag is three quarters of an inch wide. And then you can cut it to whatever length you like. This is a take your pick tool, by the way. It has like a different ends you can put on. You know, you can take this one off and put a sequin picker upper. I have one that's already got that on there. I kind of keep one one way and one another way. Um, so there's different tips you can put on the ends and so this is a great one for dyes. You got the pokey side and then the bristles and it's really a good handy tool. 
Now for this one, it's such a skinny little die, see? And you think, how would I put glue on that? And Stampin' Up! used to sell these sheets that had adhesive on them, and then you could put that sheet on your cardstock and cut it right out, and it was fantastic. And then they didn't sell them anymore, and I'm happy to say, in the new catalog, they're back. So you're going to be able to use the sticker sheets, to, you know, be able to get some more if you ran out. And I still had some of the old style, so I'm lucky to have some of these. But as soon as that new catalog comes out, June 3rd, you're going to be able to um, grab some adhesive sheets. I'm looking forward to getting more. I've been kind of hoarding them. Like, does this deserve a sticker sheet? <laughs> like, notice the pineapple did not deserve a sticker sheet. I thought I could handle it. But this little tiny Aloha kind of needs a sticker sheet, doesn't it? You can also use the fine tip glue pen, a glue bottle, really. Um, but I kind of prefer the sticker sheet. So I've got my Aloha on there. And then for the end, I like to just go up the center and then meet the center from the sides to flag the end and let's cut off and then all I did here was just kind of I wanted it to appear more tag like so I just took off the sides and that's going to be mostly cut. I mean they're not quite even <laughs> but you can play around with that and get them even but I'm going to put a bow on there so you won't notice And the bow is also pineapple punch. Already done? Yeah, it's already tacky. Okay, so now for the little bow, I'm going to use a glue dot. It's nice to have the perfect adhesive for every little thing, right? So this glue dot is perfect for my bow. I'm going to stick that down. Now the back needs a little greenery also, but I'm just going to show you the gum going in there. Look at that. How cute is that little box? Let's throw my greenery down. should just leave it alone to dry and then it'll be just fine like this one here it's all good and there is my pineapple box super cute right and you can have a whole bunch of these for a little uh, tropical party there we go thanks so much for watching I hope you think it was fun and I hope that you'll come back again take a look at the items that are retiring at the last chance product section at the online store. You can get to the online store at my blog, bestpapercuts.com. And also join me on Facebook. I have challenges and, and all kinds of fun things at Beth's Paper Cuts Idea Sharing Group on Facebook. I'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye.